Yeah, this is not this is not a good camera day for me, guys. Yeah. Oh, come home. Ooh. Yeah. It's late. No. Maybe tomorrow. Whatever, you know what? I'm just gonna do the stupid video. I'm gonna oh, come do home. The All right, so on the plus side, don't mind my ghetto bass backdrop. Fluff it up. Okay, I really need to invest in one. Tell me if you like my ghetto backdrop. <laughs> this is how I created it, okay? So if you guys wanna know, you always want YouTube tips, this is how you create a fake ass backdrop. All right, so you just get a cover, you get some pillows, stack that bitch, hang that bitch, Set that shit up. <laughs> Set that shit up. All right, so guys, you're, it's your girl, Brooke. You already know what the fuck going on. Um, <laughs> I can't believe we're here again. Nah. Honestly, you guys ask me so many questions, and you want to know what's up, but so much shit happened so fast that I didn't even have time. When I was in the process of making a video talking about one thing, shit was going on, and then by then, it was too late. Though when I tried to edit the video, it was too many other things that was going on that like factored into what was going on now. <sighs> so i'm trying to figure out how to sum this up long story short because it's like i want to just like not acknowledge anything but at the same time how can i not do that when you guys so many of you guys are gonna be lost like so lost in the sauce and you guys are gonna be tight if i don't explain um so long story short a lot of drama and shit went down on instagram on social media sadly people tell me that her you her her prank was was real it seemed like it now who else got Louis right? Nobody. I need to call up my new bitch. She down to go to LA with me. I didn't even care if she was fucking with Lynn or not. I got my nut. Long story short, I'm not trying to play the blame game, but if we just being real, Gil got completely out of character, y'all, and threw, threw a bitch for a curveball. It happens. It happens. And hence, that's why we were never together again. And I mean this in the nicest way ever. We were not together. Okay, we did, you know, do videos and stuff like that t together and stuff, but uh, we were really just talking and getting to know each other exactly for this reason. This is exactly why I didn't jump into anything like commitment wise and stuff because, because honestly, y'all, I already knew the time length of everything anyway. So, of course, if I could take the time to just still get to know each other and still have our fun and po make videos and collab, and because I was still fun and bonding, and it's like, games and shit but anyways um yeah we were never officially together so yeah so, um everybody wants to know what's going on because then at one point um you guys saw me being friends with you guys saw me being friends with lynn or you guys seeing lynn's video so you guys have questions about that so acknowledging the thing about lynn that stuff we've been friends this was nothing new to keo this was nothing new even when keo spazzed out it was nothing new to her um the comments and everybody else got to her but like we had already been in this situation for a while like no issue no nothing so that was one situation and when she went to social media and that got messy that was like my sh second strike or my second if you feeling about her because we had a situation before but that's nobody's business that's the one thing that did not make it to social media that's good I'm not saying that like oh it was that bad but it's just a situation or whatever but you know things that made you go hmm so second thing happened <laughs> and then this last thing happened on social media where she went haywire and just you know a lot of you guys saw what happened I'm not trying to go back there but y'all i didn't mean for that to happen and I can't control when other people go to social media and I'm wrong because I went into defense mode so I had to go explain to myself and go on the social media just as bad. So it just looks messy on both parts but if it was up to me it's not something I would have. It was de definitely something that could have been handled and talked about and probably over time even worked out but once it got to social media and she flipped the script like that y'all. I wasn't feeling it. I ain't even gonna lie. Be real because you know it just happened like this and I mean, so <laughs> it's so sad and i'm not trying to play victim because i understand that people get mad and they say things and they do things but at the same time y'all i don't know because y'all know what a bitch been through and so yeah in the meantime in between time where i figure out that part of my life 
I decided the smartest thing to do, which is what I was trying to do all along, was keep things off social media. Take a second, step back, reanalyze, figure out what's going on and all that. Retract the social media. So that's why for a moment our videos were down. I left it up now because I'm just like, whatever, you know, we're cordial at least to the point where we're speaking. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if we're going to continue dating. I don't know. Like, if I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because if there's one thing I learned about having a situation online and being a like personality and being a creator and stuff like that is just like you want to handle those situations like between each other and figure you know understand each other before you put everything up because then when you throw other people's opinions and shit and they don't have a fucking clue you know what i mean in the mix it just gets so messy and disgusting and that's exactly what happened i'm not about to bring it all up and like tell a whole story from because <sighs> it was just a question and again about land it's really nothing to question we're friends. The situation, we understood, but a lot of you guys don't understand the situation. And you probably won't. And I made a whole video about being friends with exes and my perspective on it. But man, fuck that shit. I ain't about to try to. I ain't about to explain shit. How to fucking convince y'all shit. Either you get it or you don't, you win it or you won't. And if you want to think I'm with games, you could think I'm with games. If you want to think it's reviews, you could think it's reviews. If you want to think I'm stupid, you could think I'm stupid. Um, chances are you're probably still gonna watch and that's not even being, ar being arrogant or anything that's just the truth or whatever even if it's to see me feel or whatever you still gonna watch so relax we'll be okay um in the meantime nonsense is on itunes on soundcloud on spotify it's on everything and it's free and you can listen to it and i'm about to make more music for you to listen to it too so yeah i hope that y'all fuck with that and y'all enjoy that because that's what's more important let's talk about the arts let's talk about the creative shit let's talk about the shit that's gonna get us somewhere and, some pro and prosper and shit I'm, I'm tired of getting attention off the drama honey like i said when keo came along it was not to have a new fling it just happened i was like okay girl you seem all equipped with everything I okay and I realized, and now I'm just like, you know what, you, whatever will be, will be, but in the meantime, I need to focus and recenter and realize, like, bitch, you got a lot of potential to do a lot of things, and that's what I'm excited about and I'm doing, so I am single, and I have friends, and that is it, and I'm trying to get this motherfucking money, and I'm trying to get my music fucking popping, and I'm trying to fucking get my YouTube popping even more, and I'm trying to take the gang with me, and I'm trying to just pursue my dreams, and that's it. Like I said, if you understand, then you understand. If you don't, you don't. But yeah, those are just the questions. The questions I need to answer. I'm working on a new song. I'll be back in the studio probably this week or next week for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, but I did want to let you guys know that I'm going to make a merch. Like, I'm going to make merch because I do want to make a video for nonsense. And I do want to... Um, I do want to be able to like invest in more studio time and just keep on doing that. So for those who do support the music and want more of those music of the music, there's gonna be a way that you can like help me make more music and help me make videos and like stuff like that. Cause honestly, bitch, I can't do this all by myself not right now. But I'm I'm gonna do the best I can. But I'm excited. So as much as I can invest in myself, I will. Um, but yeah, this gonna be like through merch and stuff like. And I'm talking dope merch, not no corny ass shit. Like I'm talking dope merch, like. Uh, that you might really want to actually wear you know what i mean talk more about that and i'll be sharing that with you guys soon um i'll be in cali next weekend i am going to cali next weekend so if you're in cali make sure that you guys you know comment down below what part of cali you're in like where where we should go like because if i could like see you guys or maybe do like a meet and greet that would be kind of lit maybe i don't know yeah i'll be in cali next weekend so that vlog is gonna be really lit the studio oh yeah um it's some major things some some pretty major pretty cool things going on with nonsense and just some stuff in the works with that um so just be on the lookout for that i'm really excited because this is gonna really help and um i'm collabing with other people music wise and really making some dope shit so i'm gonna share like a little sample for you guys and you can tell me what you think what else what else what else what else, what else, what else? good days i got bad days lately you know it's tough the situation because like life just be throwing cur curveballs and shit and you just got to deal with it but i did have a moment where everything was getting to me and i was getting very sad and low like me knowing that my intent and knowing who i am and like trying to convey that to people and them not really seeing me for what i am all the time and sometimes it sucks but then i realize this is the life that i chose this is what i signed up for and everybody's not gonna understand me and i gotta focus on the people that I do so that's more important to me than than anything that's what i'm gonna do that's what i'm gonna do and you know i don't know i'm just trying to learn from a lot of things and make better decisions and but still try to understand people 
and it's been a little difficult you being genuine and, tr and true or whatever and you do see different sides of people that do make you wonder who's really you know what i mean fucking with you who's really down who's really loyal who's really not you know what i mean but yeah this situation was really it sucks like you know what i mean that got out of control and i don't know like i just feel like there were still things that were said and done that didn't need to be and that were really hurtful and just really hard to come back from so bitch you know we've been there before but um but i'm still very appreciative of everything that i was learning from her and like i hope that you know me and her can continue to be friends and figure out what's gonna happen with this or whatever and stuff like that but like i said what will happen will happen and if it's time to be sharing to be sharing it'll, it'll be shared it'll share i'll be i'll share it with you guys um if you see keo in some videos or something like that in a vlog or whatever like that you know just take it for what it is and if you see lynn just understand that we are friends and i do see how i hang i smoke with her like almost every day like we hang out and shit like that and we like i said this is nothing new to us and even keo and stuff like that everyone who's actually in my life knows that we you know after we all that shit settled and we came to the eye eye and understanding and shit like that like there is no issue yeah that's really it i love you guys so much and i really hope that you check out the song and that you like the song and that you listen to the song and that it talks to you in some type of way and that you are going to support all the things that are coming up next and you know it might be a little different from you i might do things a little different from you you might not understand but you ain't gotta come for a motherfucking bitch because you could get red ho <laughs> kidding i love you guys and i'm gonna work on me not being so defensive not listening to the hater not letting people tell me about who i am when i know what's going on in my life and i know the truth god knows the truth everybody knows the truth that's what i gotta work on and just like knowing that everything's gonna be all right it's gonna be lit it's gonna be lit it's gonna be lit so yeah i love you guys so much and bitch i just want to let y'all know my hair is so soft like oh my gosh it's so soft guys it feels so good yeah so i just wanted to tell you that yeah shrinkage is definitely a bitch y'all want to see like a little link check like okay yeah, see. so you see like it stops there but then it comes down that's a pretty good length yeah pretty good length Mm. Pretty cool, right? I know, black girl magic. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm still, I'm just trying to stay positive, y'all. I had my couple days where I was sad. So I just wanted to just stay motivated and just keep trucking and just keep everything going and stuff. But anyways, I got a block on YouTube videos. I got a big block on YouTube videos, and it might be because all this drama. So, but what videos do y'all want next? Like. What kind of videos would y'all want? I know y'all want pranks and stuff like that, but I'm trying to figure out, like, bitch, who the fuck am I even prank now? Yeah, I love you guys so much, and I'm out of here, okay? Okay, okay. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. You know, get this money. Don't get mad at him. Go and get this bag on him. <laughs> Bye, guys. Stay there. So fuck it. Don't get mad at him. Go and get this bag on him.